back to my channel. Today I basically have one job and that is make that two jobs and those are one, thanking you for 100 subscribers, thank you very much, actual thank you video coming soon. In case you didn't understand that, he said thank you. Why do you guys insist on climbing on tables? I don't understand. <laughs> On the agenda is food. These are a few of my favorite things. Could use some work, but you get the picture. Okay, so last year's grocery shopping. Okay, so last year's grocery shopping. <clears throat> okay, so last year's grocery shopping was on a $20 budget. I know. Not going back there anytime soon. Since then, I have been granted. Ulysses S. Granted. In my defense, I'm trying to get fat over here and don't have the patience to wait until I'm 40 like everybody keeps telling me. So, we are going to do things a little bit differently. And I know things don't always go according to plan, but here's the plan. One. <clears throat> one. Create a... One. Create... One. Okay. <sighs> Let's start over. One, create a weekly menu based on recipes from my cookbooks. Two, go shopping for things that I don't have from those recipes. Three, use the remaining money to buy staples. Three? <clears throat> Wait, did I just say? One. <sighs> oh yeah, number four, cook on one day. So basically we're going to go shopping and cook in the same day. We're really busy during the week so we don't have time to actually cook. So basically what we're going to do is cook all on one day if we can and have leftovers for the whole entire week. We'll see how it goes. The last of my cookbooks came in today. I'll go get them. I'm back. Okay, <clears throat> this is the last cookbook that just came in yesterday, actually. So I've read through about three of these, slash looked at all of the recipes in about three of them. Even though most of these are vegan books, we're not going vegan. Like, we are going more plant-based because I know that sounds ridiculous because I've been vegetarian for 22 years, but the reality of it is you can be a vegetarian and not be healthy. You can be a vegetarian and eat pizza all day. You can eat like, you know, veggie lasagna and veggie meatballs and all of those packaged meats and stuff like that. So we are veering more away from veggie meats and processed foods and packaged stuff and going more towards a plant-based diet. We watched this documentary on Netflix called What the Health. It is a weird name, I know. It basically highlighted a couple things that are not good for us, like dairy, eggs, cheese, tons of stuff like that. I coupled that with what Ellen G. White said about cheese not being something that we should eat at all. So we are going towards cutting cheese completely out of our diet. So we're just like going cheeseless. Eggs should not be cut out completely out of our diet if the chickens are being fed properly, like grains and stuff like that, because eggs have medicinal properties, but we're going to still stay away from the yolk. So, um, so I don't know what we're called. I guess we would still be vegetarian, but at the same time, if I feel like eating salmon tomorrow, well, I'm sorry, fish. So I guess that makes us non-boxitarians, which means we don't fit in a box. Diets shouldn't fit in a box anyway. I feel like diets should be ever-changing depending on nutritional necessities, I guess. But yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. So I am going to develop a meal plan and I will get back to you guys. Slash I'll probably videotape the whole thing and end up editing two hours of footage because that's my normal deal. Hey Claymore. So these are the sales ads this week. So we're also trying to incorporate a lot more fruits and vegetables into our diet. Mostly a lot more fruits because I was doing vegetables. But honestly, looking back at the $20 a week grocery shopping, I was a little bit like, okay, I had salad like two weeks out of the nine, which was annoying. Cause I was just like, seriously, that's like completely not so good. Anyways, we are going to fix a lot of things here. I have been reading up a lot more on nutrition. All time goals is like, pretty much making everything on my own and living off the land. That's gonna take a while. I know it's gonna take a while, but we're working towards it. And maybe by the time I'm 40, I'm gonna put the Aldi and Lidl sales ads up on the screen so you guys can see that. And I'm gonna do the menu now, which I said like four times, so I'm actually going to do it now. So I have finished the menu and the grocery list, but I often forget what's in my pantry and refrigerator and cupboard and all that stuff. And sometimes I'll buy things that I don't need and duplicate them. So to cut back on that, we're going to go take a look at what is in the pantry and the refrigerator and all the other places where I store food that I shouldn't. My challenge to myself is to try not to explain 
anything about them, just to say the name and move on. So let's see if I can do that. Turkey dip, rice squares, crispy rice, toasted bean, cereal, seaweed, ice cream cones, pumpkin seed cereal, brown rice, graham crackers, saltine crackers, lasagna, fettuccine, noodles, shell, some honey, coconut oil, jelly, vanilla, general sauce, stir fry sauce, slow-mo, marinara powder, grape marinara sauce, pickles, vertebella mushroom powder, olives, more honey, more coconut oil, malta, activated charcoal, baking soda, butternut squash soup, jello, yeast, and some long grain wild rice. I think I should have sugar ground up black seeds. Raw almonds, vital wheat gluten. We have a Liam, he's walking now. Cornmeal, figs, whole wheat flour, tomato juice, organic apple cider, dulled white vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, a water bottle, red potatoes. Then down here we have moist black olives. This actually has activated charcoal in there. Corn peas. Crushed pineapple, cranberry sauce, black beans, another can of black beans, sliced beets, careful lamb grease, kidney beans, coconut cream, tomato paste, two baked beans, there's three garbanzo beans thingies over here. Um, this is some horrible tasting vegetarian soup. Cream of mushroom soup, light cheese, and a big thing of honey back there. I have a honey problem. Over here we have just like vitamins and stuff. Liam, what you doing? <laughs> Here we have rice and we have apple juice, grapefruit juice, cranberry juice back there. These are like spares. We're not gonna use them unless we run out of juice. And in here, <laughs> we have ran out of all the juices. Cranberry, grapefruit empty, apple pretty much empty. And then there's barbecue sauce by Brandless. There's oranges in here. Yo, we still have bagels. And then, there's sun dried tomatoes. Up here we have flour, canola oil. This is a whole bunch of oats and then sugar. Regular sugar, like a, what is it called again? Um, cane sugar. Over here we have all of the like spice type things that I've added a couple more to, but I don't think I really need to go through and I'm really short right now. And then in here we have bunches of ramen. Chocolate chips are randomly over there. There's some dried black beans, pumpkin seeds, coconut shreds. This is ground up walnuts. That's four pounds, which is something for your throat. I messed up again. Um, peanut butter chips are back there. Cornmeal, green lentil beans, couscous, bay leaves, garbanzos, I think those are back there. Red kidney beans. Kidney beans aren't red. Lentils, the brown kind. Pinto beans back there. Um, that is TVP. More black beans and sesame seeds. And that pretty much wraps it up. Oh wait, uh, what are those again? Um, sunflower seeds. So now I'm tripping over things. <laughs> In the refrigerator, we have bananas, some strawberries, jam, jelly, whatever, grape spread. Okay, hummus. A couple burger buns back there. Milk that is half empty. Half of a papaya. Some lemon. Spinach. Two tofus back. Some beans in a container. Blueberries, tomatoes, pickles, applesauce back there. That is some waffle mix. Some onions, some avocados, and that's some soup that mom brought for me yesterday. Down there, we have some celery, some ginger, some <coughs> lettuce. What you doing, Liam Quinn? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn. Quinn. Mr. Golden Quinn. Please get out of the fridge. Come here, please. Mr. Quinn. Up here we have mangoes on the fridge. Pretty much everything that I had back last year. All this stuff might be expired, but it's okay. We've added some okra to the mix. Three random frozen bananas. Some corn, mixed vegetables. Blah, 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 blah. are veggie burgers that I'm also going to toss. This V kind of tricked me into thinking that they were vegan, and then they have like cheese in them. But hey, things happen. Just move on. Strawberries. One of these Luigi cups. Some corn. Some burgers. Some Brussels sprouts. Some chopped up kale. Some Boca burgers. And some chopped up spinach. This is wham. This is smoked up turkey. So I am riding today for the first time since Liam has been born. Okay, so we're in, where are we? Wegmans. Wegmans, we're in Wegmans now. 
I just rode the bike for the first time, so my left hand hurts from the clutch. I'm like really not used to it. It's been almost 12 months. But yeah. Long time. Long time. Mirma's sleeping. Say hey, Clay. <laughs> He's not having it today. All right, we're in here for like one thing, so we're getting nutritional use flakes. So we basically just spent 20% of our budget, or are about to spend, because the yeast flakes came up to 923, because they're like 11.99 per pound, and it came up to 0.78 pounds. So off to a good start. My takeoffs are pretty rough to say the least, but I believe I did pretty well for not riding in 12 months. I still had that stopping without putting my legs on the ground down pat, and the only other problem I had was keeping my indicator on forever. And forever. Okay, so I'm outside of BJ's right now. I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> that might look, okay. My takeoffs are really, really rough sometimes. I have just like gotten back into it. I think I did a couple good takeoffs, but most of them were horrible. Like, just being honest here. Uh, okay. I also accidentally like shifted down instead of shifting up at one moment, but yeah, I'm just running in by myself because we're only going to get two things in here and I don't want to bring everyone in so Eli's in the car with us. Everything looks so good in here all the time, you want to buy it all, but you'd be broke. Okay, so I got what we came in here for and heading to the checkout now. Okay, so we are in Aldi now, and we're gonna grab a couple stuff. Then we have Lidl, and then it's home and cooking after that, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's take a look at the boys. They're yawning. Hey, Haley. Mm -hmm. Hey. And Claymore's trying to figure out how to pull apart my pen, I think. Yeah. All right, let's go grab some stuff. Okay. I know there's no. I'm not gonna spray it down. I'm not gonna put it out. So Claymore decided to hold their seat after leaving and he threw their seat into the wind and it blew everywhere so I had to go and grab it. Don't let go of it please. We have switched and Eli is going to ride the bike now and I am going to sit in the car. That is the real biker over there, the pro who has been doing this for a long time. So he knows what he's doing. I'm good at driving. I've been driving for a while since I was seven. No indicator, tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> what you looking at, buddy? Pepperoni pizza? Sounds good. 119 times 2. <laughs> okay, so this is everything that we got for this week's grocery shopping haul and I'm really bad at reading it all out, so I'm just going to show you like I am right now. We are going to start cooking now. <sighs> all right, Eli, you need to stand up so I can see how tall you are so that I can see you. You're too tall. <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is not an option to use it. Almost out. Looks good. 
and eggplant is cut, so we're making the general saw tofu and eggplant parmesan right now. I'm gonna get the breading meal, which I made a little while ago, so I have some leftover. 